Hey what's up guys it's Shazad here and in this video we are going to be taking a look at the software features and tips and tricks of MIUI 8 on the Redmi Note 4. So let's jump in. Starting with some display settings, first reading mode. As the name implies when you turn this on it adds a yellow filter on your screen which is supposedly better and easier on your eyes when reading. You can change the strength and also have it on for selected apps. In color and contrast menu you can change the display temperature and add contrast. And if you want double tap to wake, you can enable that from here. Next go into lock screen and password, then lock screen shortcuts. And here you can reassign which app to open when you swipe from left or right on the lock screen. By default, swipe from the right opens up the camera, but you can change that from here. I have left swipe assigned to open up music player. In the bottom, there is an option for opening the camera by double pressing the volume down key. In notification and status bar settings, first of all you can change the layout to separately show notifications and toggles or have it combined. You can also change the toggle positions from here. When you turn on show notification icons, whenever there is a notification from an app, it shows the icon up here. I found it handy. And you can also turn on network speed meter from here. Second space is like your phone having two different personalities. It's like a user switch that we do on Windows and it's superb. All of your data remains private and you can have separate apps on both profile and can easily switch with just a touch of your fingerprint. In battery it gives you an overview of temperature, usage time etc. And there's also a power saving mode that you can turn on from here. In this menu, you can change how MIUI works in battery saving mode. By default, it will restrict all of the background activities when possible, but you can also choose apps that you want to pass through. Light mode is a super duper toned down version of MIUI. The main purpose of this is to make it easy to use and navigate for the elder ones. Now there is a lot in additional settings. First, child mode. You can turn it on by scanning your fingerprint and choose accessible apps. For example, I just want the camera to be accessible. And as you can see, camera is the only option available here, unless I go out of child mode. Handy for all the parents out there. Quick ball is similar to assistive touch on iOS. You can have a floating shortcut for screenshots, recent apps, etc. And talking about screenshots, in the next menu, you can enable three finger slide to take screenshots. In notification light settings, you can change the behavior of LED and also change color of it. In buttons, first of all, you can flip navigation buttons. Now left becomes the back button and right button is for multitasking, just like it is on stock Android. Then you can change what long pressing these button does. For example, long pressing home button takes you to Google. In one hand mode, you can select the window size. To turn it on, just swipe over home and back button. To close it, just tap on the darkened area. Me Mover can help you transfer apps and other data from your old Android phone to this. Just install Me Mover app on the other device, scan the code and continue. Dual apps is awesome. Want to run two separate WhatsApp accounts from one phone? Simple. Come to this menu and turn on dual apps and there you have it. In permission control, you can check which app is starting on boot and allow or deny other permissions. The last option in the setting and probably the most useful one, app lock. You can select the app and lock with fingerprint security. If you're planning to use this, I would recommend you to change the lock settings to lock the app again after exiting it. In camera setting, by default picture quality is set to standard. Switch that to high for both cameras. In the bottom, you can change things like contrast, saturation, and for God's sake, take that sharpness down. I have set it to lowest because in-camera processing is horrible. It tries to over sharpen everything. By taking the in-camera sharpness down, you'll get actual detail, not overly processed trying to be the sharpest image. Taking a look at some pre-installed apps, security is a one-stop shop for optimizing the device. There is a cleaner, data usage, blacklist, and virus scanner. What? In scanner app, you can scan QR codes, business cards, documents, etc. In Compass, just lift the device up, and with the help of camera, it shows Compass data and coordinates live on the screen.
In calculator, press the button up top and it becomes a full-fledged conversion app. The reason why I'm mentioning all of this is because I am not a fan of installing third-party apps for every minor work. The more of these basic things baked into the system, the less third-party clutter I have to deal with. So yeah, I have to say, pre-installed apps on MIUI, really good. So that's pretty much it for this video. Thank you so much for tuning in. Subscribe if you want to see more of these and I'll catch you all in the next one.